Howdy guys, this is that Tuner Guy 86 coming at you with another episode on easy to do tutorials. What are you doing in the nether? Well, here in the nether we get tons of stuff, right? Tons of stuff that you really don't need, really don't want. And then you end up having to throw it away somewhere, you throw it on the ground, and it causes lag in your world. So, what we're not going to do is throw it on the ground, because I'm going to teach you how to properly throw it away in a bin where it goes off into the non-existent world of non-existence and it disappears from the server thus not leaving lag for your server so here we go all right welcome back guys so here we are at our stand here tutorial number two the trash chest if you look behind me all on item frames you'll see everything that we're going to need we will need a trap chest dispenser you'll need two hoppers one comparator one repeater and a little bit of redstone dust let's go ahead and get to it so we're going to make something identical to this platform right here and we're just going to call this your house or your floor on your base doesn't have to be any type of specific dimensions we're just going to make it four by one two three four five six seven so we'll just do four by seven all right now the first thing I'm going to do is put a chest down now this right here is a regular chest on the inventory we put down trap chests. the reason we put down trap chests is for a reason so You'll see the red around the latch here. This is a trap chest. Reason being is because, let's say, go in my inventory, let's put some andesite in, in here. Okay, so I put my andesite in here. It doesn't automatically fall through my system because it's a trap chest. So that way, if I turn around and I accidentally put, we'll say, a diamond sword in here, it doesn't just fall through. So we're not getting rid of uh, our good stuff automatically. All right, but once I let the chest close ta-da now it's gone it has fallen through the system and gotten disposed of properly and we're going to build exactly that so we're going to go down one let's see we've got one two three we've got four total blocks underneath of our chest okay we're going to take out all of those so we've got four spaces we're going to set a dispenser we're going to dig down one here on the third block down so we've got one two three is where our dispenser is at okay now the reason I have to dig down is because we want this hole on the dispenser to be facing the ground because that's where everything's going to exit out of. All right, so you go underneath your chest. One, two, three. Now we knock those back out. Now we're going to take our hoppers and we're going to add two hoppers onto our system here. You can try with one. Sometimes it will work with one, but a lot of times you'll end up with misfires. So you want to have two hoppers sitting here. So you've got your chest, hopper, hopper, then a dispenser. And just to double check our system, we will, you know, let's pull something from the inventory like dirt. And it is filtering through the system now like i said this is what we what we wouldn't want in our survival world because if you were accidentally going through shift clicking a bunch of stuff into your trash can if you had a really nice bow or a really nice sword that you accidentally click and it goes in there and falls through your system that might not be a good idea because then it's going to disappear forever so right now everything's coming back down into our dispenser here what we're going to do is we're going to block this up like so. Now, I have lava in hand, 
This is completely optional. You don't have to do this. I prefer to do it just because it gets rid of the entities that you put in there automatically. So we're going to put in lava and then cover that up. Alright, so now that all of that is good, this system right here runs off to the right. Let's see if we can't make this system run off to the back here. So we're going to give ourselves a 4x4 four four pad. And I hate this weather, so let's clear this up. All right. So we're going to put a block right beside of our dispenser. And that block is going to have just a dash of redstone. You can get your comparator. Our dispenser is right here. We're going to have a comparator that is facing away from our dispenser, like so. Then we're going to have a block after our comparator. And we're going to knock out the one up underneath it. So we've got, so y'all can see everything. Got our chest, hopper, hopper, dispenser, comparator feeds into the block. To complete this circuit, we're going to need redstone dust right here. And then that is going to feed into a repeater, like so. And we are going to knock out the block up underneath that. Oh, no, we're not, because that's going to let our lava out, so don't do that. There we go. All right, and that completes our system. So now we can take our dirt, put it in there. And as you can see, our system is working on dispensing that out. Everything is going down into our hoppers, through to our dispensers, and then it is being pushed out into the lava so that way it's automatically getting rid of it now if i were to use a trap chest we'll get rid of that let's bring out our trap chest Now let's use our trap chest and let's put all of our stuff in here since we are done with this tutorial. See how everything stays up there and that's kind of what we want just in case on accident you're shift clicking and you put your favorite item up there and you really didn't want it to go away. You have a trap chest that will hold your stuff there for you to say oh crap I didn't mean to do that until it closes. And then it will slowly start to get rid of everything that's in there. All right, so that is it for this tutorial. That is tutorial number two, the trash chest. So tutorial number three will be coming tomorrow. Be sure to hit the follow button and the subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoy this. Here soon we will be bringing uh, the sugarcane farm, the cactus farm, and a few other fun things that we've got going on.